welcome to the Lori Lulu Crochet Podcast, episode 14. My name is Lori. I live in the Chicago suburbs with my husband Ryan and our two cats, Dixie and Daisy. And I love to crochet. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Lori Lulu 327. Or you can email me. My email address is Lori Lulu 327 at gmail.com. And I also have a Ravelry group for this podcast, so you can search me. I'll have a link down below, links to all patterns and yarns and whatever I talk about will be down in the, the description box below. Um, just want to welcome any new viewers and to my returning friends, hello again. Um, so just grab a drink, grab your project. Settle in. <laughs> we'll see how this episode goes. Um, mostly, I'm just so ecstatic because the the U.S. women's soccer team just won the World Cup, and I'm just yay, so excited. <laughs> um, so that's actually why I wore this shawl today to church. So I have the blue and the red, and then I have white stripes on my skirt. Um, this is my Yes Yes shawl. Um, it's a pattern, I think you can still get it, um, on uh, Yarn Inspirations. It's one of theirs. Um, here, let me show you. It's red. It's a red heart uh, sparkle. I don't even know if they make this one anymore. Um, I don't know. Can you even see the sparkles? Oh, there's a little bit. But yeah, it's a very sparkly, very red shawl. Um, I made this, um, my grandparents were celebrating their 70th wedding anniversary, which is a big deal. <laughs> so we were doing family photos and they wanted to do red, white, and blue. So I made a red shawl and I wore a white t-shirt and it looked really cute. Um, so yeah. So I wore this today in support of the women's soccer team. And I'm just so ecstatic that they won. <laughs> anyway, um, what else? Oh, so today is actually Sunday. Um, so I couldn't watch the game because I was at church. And being a pastor's wife, I kind of have to be there. <laughs> um, but today is July 7th, which means it's my Dixie Chick's birthday today. Yep. She's 13 years old now. <laughs> I keep telling her, I can't believe we have a teenager. Even though <laughs> she's a cat. <laughs> and she's quite cranky. Um, I was trying to get pictures earlier. And it's hard to get a cat to look at the camera. <laughs> so, I'll put some at the end. And you can wish her a happy birthday too. Um, I'm trying to think, what else? I have there's like so many things I want to talk about today. Um, I have lots of makes in progress to talk about. Uh, a couple finished objects. Um, but as for um, life stuff, <laughs> pretty much the only thing that's gone on this week is um, Fourth of July. <laughs> um, did you guys have a good Fourth of July? Did you do anything fun to celebrate? And my Canadian friends, did you, like what kind of things do you guys do for Canada Day? Just curious. I don't think I've ever asked anybody that before. Anyway, um, for the 4th of July, um, my husband Ryan and I went to New Buffalo, Michigan, which is kind of halfway between our house and my parents' house, and we met we met them at uh, this restaurant called Redamax, and I've seen the billboard. We go to Michigan quite a bit, and I see it every time. I wanted to try it, so went, finally stopped. <laughs> and they have all kinds of burgers and sandwiches and stuff. I figured since it's the 4th of July, maybe I should try the bison burger. It was actually really good. I really liked it. <laughs> um, and then afterward, like it was a really busy restaurant, so after we, were, after we were done eating, we left so they could have table space. And then there were some picnic tables nearby, so we just went and sat and chatted. But, 
One important thing that I got while talking with my parents, my dad's been busy. <laughs> Let me show you. I have a yarn ball. Actually, I have two. One of them is holding a current making progress. Ah. So we have these two. Really nice. Oh my goodness, I can hear the ice cream truck. <laughs> I doubt you can hear it too, but it just, it distracted me. Anyway, <laughs> so these are both for sale. Um, again, you know, this beautiful, my dad made these out of, I think these are recycled wood. Correct me if I'm wrong, dad. Um, so yeah, I mean, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um. So talk about that later. Um, here's this one. And yeah, there's not a lot. I mean, we all just gush about these because they're just so beautiful. Um, if you are interested in either one of these, message me. Um, again, lorilulu327 at gmail.com. Uh, the price is $40 for, per, for each. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you're interested, let me know, and we'll figure out how to get that to you, okay? Um, they are kind of, they are kind of on the small side, um, but they worked really great for me yesterday. Um, I was using scrap yarn, and of course, I used a lot of it already, but anyway. So, there's that. Um... But my dad is kind of a renaissance man, I think. <laughs> He's interested in all kinds of things. But lately his thing is he started writing novels. And um, I posted a picture of the foreword of the last one. Um, and everybody's like, where can I find his book? <laughs> well, this is the book. <laughs> it's in a three ring binder right now. Um, so he's in the process of getting it edited. Um, actually, my aunt, his sister, is an editor, and so she's going to go through it and get it all set. And so when it is published, I will let you know. <laughs> and you can support my dad. Um, but this one is called uh, Dreams of Heaven. Um, it's really interesting about... A surgeon who has an accident and then he can't walk anymore so how can he be a surgeon if he can't stand um, but the forward is uh, there's no way to quantify what I don't know I simply don't know how much I don't know but it seems so incredibly huge the same is true for what I think I know but don't understand some things I'm sure of but could be wrong others I, others I know I don't understand completely. I don't have a way to measure those things either. This is why I write fiction. It helps me understand a little bit better. I hope this makes sense to you. I don't write to tell you this. Uh, I don't write to tell you this is how it is. No, I'm writing to make myself think. It is an act of worship. Maybe that is the most important thing. So please worship with me and enjoy something a little different. So anyway, I thought that was an awesome forward. But anyway. Um, anything else that's been going on lately? It's been hot. Yeah. <laughs> and I love hot. I love being hot. I could be t-shirt, shorts, sandals. That could be my, my life's uniform. And I'd be happy. Although, you know, skirt today, that'd be just as fine. Um, the other night at Llama Llama Ding Dong, my local yarn store, um, we, I forget how we got started on it, but I was reading a bunch of things that somebody had shared on Facebook, and it's like things that Midwesterners say or think. Um, and the one was, you know, we always feel like we have to justify single de digit temperatures you know it's so cold well it wouldn't be this cold if it wasn't for the wind yes we all say that <laughs> but then my friend Sarah 
hi Sarah. <laughs> she was like, well, we should quantify that too, you know, flip it, do the flip side of it, you know. It wouldn't be so hot if it wasn't for the humidity. <laughs> and we do say that a lot as well. <laughs> and then we kept going through, I was reading some and I had uh, translations and it was, um, no yeah means, uh, yeah, no yeah means yes. Yeah, no means no. Yeah, no for sure means definitely. <laughs> and then like, you know, I read those and a little bit later we were just chatting and then like I kept noticing when we would say those things. I'm like, we really do say these. <laughs> so anyway, excuse me. Just got back from lunch. Had a nice Mexican, <laughs> Mexican lunch at Pepe's. Um, yeah, so anyway, it was just funny, and we just catch ourselves saying, and as Sarah kept saying, you know, it's funny because it's true, the way <laughs> we Midwesterners talk. Anyway, <laughs> um, shall we get into finished objects? Um, I really only have one to show you. Um, again, I'm doing hats. Hats like crazy. Oh, it's the summer of hats. <laughs> um, I did two hats that I donated already to um, the Hat Not Hate. Um, I was basically using leftovers from my Supreme Court shawl. Um, yeah. Oh, I was like, fixed hat. I have a note here. Fi I was like, fixed hat? What does that mean? Oh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I made a hat for my nephew when he was 10. And I was following the pattern, <laughs> and I just kept working on it, didn't really think of much about it. And then I realized it was huge. I'm talking <laughs> huge. Now, August has a big head, but <laughs> not that big. Um, so I took that with me and ripped it out and made it a little smaller so it'll fit a kid's head for hat not hate. So anyway, <laughs> back to that. And the, the hat that I was showing you earlier, um, this is a make in progress, is um, for the hat not hate. Um, this is leftovers from my summer diamonds kimono that I made last summer. Um, it's a Hobby Lobby I Love This Yarn, um, and they're stonewash, they're stonewash? No, it's the Pale Aqua Gradient is the coloring. Um, so it changes slightly. The color changes very slightly. Anyway, this is all I have left of it. Um, it's just a basic double crochet beanie. Um, but here, um, Sarah had been working on a hat and she was like, I do front loop, back loop, front loop, back loop. I'm like, oh, well that adds some interesting texture. So I thought I'd try it too. I'm stealing it from you, Sarah. <laughs> um, so yeah. The um, Hat Not Hate is a thing with um, Lion Brand yarn. Um, it's for um, school children. Uh, it's an anti-bullying campaign. That's what that's for. Um, and there's a hashtag that everybody does. Um, but then... I've been working on hats for a friend of mine, and I made this one not too long ago. You've already seen it. This is called the Phyllis Hat. Um, you can find this on Lion Brand's website. And I used uh, Red Heart, Super Saver, Bright Yellow, and then this is Mainstays Royal Blue. Uh, Mainstays is the Walmart brand. And I keep looking at this and I'm just like, it's so huge. And then... I don't know, it's just so bright. I don't know if my friend would wear it. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about this one. But I switched, so the pattern calls for a 6mm hook. I switched to a 5mm hook to make her daughters. Um, I still need to weave in ends. But this is the same hat, the Phyllis hat. Um, I just did a different color scheme. And I really like how this one turned out so much better. So I may fix my friend's hat. <laughs> um, yeah, so the white, so it's the same Red Heart Super Saver yellow, 
mainstays blue, and then this is mainstays white. So yeah, I really liked how this one turned out so much better than that bright yellow one. Anyway, <sighs> so that's finished objects. That's everything. Okay, so we get on to make some progress because I've got a lot to show you. So let me take a drink of water. We'll pause for a second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm hydrated now. Um, so my make some progress are a little out of control right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I kind of. So I try to have an oceans pouch in every project bag I have. Um, I have a hook. Um, scissors, measuring tape, pencil, chapstick. I try to keep one in each one. Well, I only have four official notions pouches. But I have more than four makes in progress. <laughs> so, I had to kind of combine stuff. And then, I have some things that need to get done sooner than others. So, I'm kind of, so the first ones I'm going to show you, um, We'll kind of be put off to the side for a bit because I need to get other ones done. So the first one I'm going to show you, excuse me, <laughs> is my uh, Tunisian scarf. Um, not much has been done on it. I've been, I tried to do like, I, you know, I was doing one project per day, like just focus on that. Um, but soccer kind of got in the way of some of that too. <laughs> I'd be watching it at work and screaming every time they'd score a goal and my boss was like, what's going on? It's just soccer. <laughs> anyway, so the last time you saw it, I was at um, this lovely sheep. And so it's growing. It's getting there. Um, so this is the smock stitch. I think you can see it a little better now. Um, you kind of have um, it's like little diamonds and it kind of goes like this. Anyway, so yeah, this lovely purple eggplant. Um, we have the yellow, which is the full stitch. We have the pink, which is the, the knit stitch. <laughs> and then we have this avocado, which is the simple stitch. And again, I'm just picking different stitches, different colors me trying to learn Tunisian and it'll be on the back burner for a while because I got stuff to do so anyway part of my whole combining um, I have these big bags from Joann's uh, Joann fabrics <laughs> I hate it when people call it Walmart's or <laughs> Barnes and Nobles um, anyway so oh so in this one, this is a lovely woodland creature. Was a fox and a deer, squirrels. Um, so I have two projects in here, um, and one oceans pouch. Um, I'm just gonna show you the one because the other one, it's not that important. Anyway, this is um, my Ebbing's Ebbing's Tide. <laughs> I just feel like I'm saying it wrong. Ebbing Tide Shawl. Ebbing? Ebbing Tides Shawl. Let me get this correct. Walmarts. <laughs> Talk about Midwestern speak. Anyway, so this is living in my Kalisha uh, bag from Quirky Monday Craft Craft, Craft Cast. Blah, blah. Um, let's see. Do do do. I'm using, um, where did my notes go? Uh, I'm using loops and thread wool like in teal and charcoal. I'm holding, holding two teal and one charcoal together. Um, just kind of give it a different color. Um, but here we are so far. And I feel like it's really lopsided. I don't know. But anyway, last time I showed you I was at this little, I have a little narwhal. Um, so yeah, I really like this. I'm really excited to see how this goes, but this one's going to be in timeout for a bit. 
again because I have other things to do. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, Ebbing Tides Shawl is a paid for pattern. It is by Sam from the Sam Squeak uh, podcast. You need to watch her, she's awesome, as well as Kalisha from the Quirky Monday Crafts cast. <sighs> yeah, so there's this one. Um, the other one, uh, it's, it's basically, I'm working on scraps. I'm going to do like a granny bag, tote bag kind of thing. So it's just scraps. I'll show it to you later. I, I only have one done, so meh. Meh. I didn't write down the notes, so I don't can't tell you the specifics about that one. Okay, so the next two I want to show you are part of the Summer Romance Crochet Along, which is hosted by Crochet, or Crochet Luna and Crochet Cakes, which are Claudia and Clarissa Beth. Um, so there's a deadline for these, um, which is August 17th. But I kind of want to get it done before August because August I'm starting my own make along, and so I kind of want to devote my time to that because that's my own. <laughs> so I want to get these done for August. That's the plan. <laughs> um, so my make along, I'll just tell you real quick. Um, it's an inspiring women. Uh, make along so whoever inspires you make something knit crochet embroider cross stitch spin whatever you want to do as long as it um, represents a woman who inspires you um, there's a chatter thread already going in the Ravelry um, group so um, there's a couple ladies who've already talked about who they're gonna do and they have some awesome ideas. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. Um, my project that I'm thinking of doing, I have a des shawl design I need to finish. <laughs> so that'll be what I'll be doing in August. But for the summer romance, shall we get back to that one? Um, this year's uh, theme is Opposites Attract. Um, so I chose... My first one that I chose was Leonard and Penny from The Big Bang Theory. Um, I'm doing the Secret Paths shawl. Um, and I'm using cotton yarns. They're both, it's two different kinds of, <laughs> two different brands, not, yeah, two different brands of yarn, but they're both 100% cotton. I'm using Yarnby uh, Sugar Wheel Cotton, and I love this cotton. They're both uh, Hobby Lobby yarns. Um, here's the sugar wheel cotton. I have one cake left. Uh, it's lovely uh, shades of gray. And it's called Granny's Recipe. Which, my, gra my grandmother I call Granny. <laughs> and then, oh, sorry, oh. The other two uh, is the green apple, which I've already had to ball up. And this one I will probably need to ball up soon, um, is pink. So I have the pink for Penny and the green for Leonard. And the gray is just kind of a neutral color um, to kind of combine it. Um, I'm using a 3 mil, or 3 mil, 3.5 millimeter hook. Um, it is a free pattern. You can find it on Ravelry. So I have two projects. Both projects are in this bag. <gasps> lovely bag. It's by Fate's Thread and it's a great bag. It's very roomy. Um, so here's my shawl that I have so far. I have about this much left of my first cake of sugar wheel cotton. Let me make sure I show you the right side. Ta-da! Look at this! I'm loving these colors together and I just love the texture of this shawl. So you have uh, front post, back post, you have um, double crochet chain and then you have popcorn 
Let me tell you though, this row of the green popcorn took forever. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep going until I run out of all the yarn. Um, last time you saw it, I was at this lovely little leaf. Just finished the first stripe of pink. And there we go. So that is my Leonard and Penny shawl, The Secret Paths. Um, the designer is Joanna Lindahl. Um, the other one is again, Summer Romance, uh, Opposites Attract. I chose another couple. Um, I know everybody went crazy about Frozen. And I like Frozen, but I prefer Tangled more. <laughs> um, sorry. Oof, fluff. Um, so yeah, so it's Eugene and Rapunzel from Tangled. Uh, the pattern that I'm doing is the Summertime Tea um, by Tony Lipsy. I'm looking at my notes down here. Um, I'm using the Yarn B Lux Lollies, which is this one. Got it at Hobby Lobby clearance. Look at these colors. Oh, oh get this out of the way. And you can see how much I paid for it. <laughs> yeah. Two dollars for one of these. And I bought three. Um, so the summertime tea is bottom up. It's, so all I really had to show you is just part of the, <laughs> the base of the uh, bottom of my t-shirt because it's a crochet t-shirt anyway like I said we'll see how this one <laughs> um, it is a free pattern on her blog um, you can purchase it on Ravelry um, get ads get the ads off anyway um, let me just say how much I love how these colors are blending together like Um, here's my ball. <laughs> so I balled it up just because I figured that wheel would definitely collapse on itself sooner. Um, the only issue I have with this yarn is sometimes you'll get blips, uh, and you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll get blips where you'll have like the green and the pink, or you'll have some pink and the blue, and I don't know... I'm sure I could have taken it out, but I was, or cut it out, but this will go in the back and you'll see what I'm talking about. Ta -da! So here is the bottom and you can see right here a nice blip of green for the aqua color in the pink. It'll be in the back. Nobody will know unless they're looking at my bum. <laughs> Anyway, um, so you start off with a 6mm hook to do the ribbing, and then you change to a 6.5mm hook for the rest of it. And it's very stretchy fabric, and I just love these colors. Oh, yeah, and I had a knot. Well, actually, what happened was, um, I think the yarn ran out. It was, it was a manufacturer's knot, and it started with the green again. So I'd have a couple rows of the blue, and then I'd be back in the green for just a little bit. So I had to cut that out. I did cut that part out. That bothered me. Uh, I'm going to try to match the colors and the stripes front and back. We'll see how that goes. But anyway. Um, so yeah, so you have the blue from... And it's kind of aqua too. It's kind of a mixture of the two for Eugene. And then Rapunzel has pink in her dress. And then it's not exactly blonde, her blonde color, but it's close enough, I think. <sighs> so those are the two summer romance ones. I have until August to get those done. But those are still kind of going on the back burner too because. There is one that's very special <laughs> that needs to be done. Um, and it just, 
I'm just excited about this. <laughs> um, so my local yarn shop, Lama Lama Ding Dong, they are participating in the Chicago Yarn Crawl, which is at the end of July. So it starts on the 25th. Um, so I have to have this done by then. Um, and basically, you know, all the yarn shops are doing special giveaways and discounts and whatnot. Um, but Yax and Rue, the owners of Llama Llama, want to um, make a bunch of kits. So you'll get a um, pattern and the yarn that would go perfect with that pattern. Um, I think, well, I was going to say they're gonna, they did a bunch of shawls, but no. Because um, Sarah actually made a dress, a little baby dress. It was so cute. Oh my goodness. And Yax has been working on rompers. And Rue is making a little dress. Um, but Leticia is making a shawl. And I forget what Gabby was making. Was it a cowl? I think it was a cowl. Anyway. But for me, they're wanting to use one of my patterns. Like, oh my goodness. So they're going to put my shawl pattern in a kit and sell it that way and so they asked me to make a sample that'll go in their shop and it'll be in their shop for the yarn crawl and of course I'm like oh twist my arm and make me make my shawl again <laughs> um so the shawl that I'm doing is the petite curie shawl I was so excited um so for anyone who's new the Petite Curie shawl um, is one of my inspiring women shawls, and it's about Marie, it's based off Marie Curie. Um, so, you want to see how far I've gotten so far? I've been using my lovely yarn bowl um, that my dad made for me. Um, let me pull out all my paperwork, <laughs> my notes and stuff. Um, the yarn that I'm using is Malabrigo Machida, which I used in the first one that I made. Um, let me see if I can find the tag. Hold on. So I want to tell you what it, the fiber content is. Uh, of course, it's not in there. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. So the Machita is 100% Merino Superwash. That's what I get. And the colorway, Sarah, I'm going to make sure I say it right, <laughs> is the Moon Trio Full. Which, my brain just wants to switch those words around <laughs> to the Full Moon Trio. But anyway. So here is the cake that I have. It's, oh, there's so many colors in here. I think there's every color in here. Honestly, I do. And so here it is so far. Here's my Petit Curie. Love it, love it, love it. Um, last night I was working on it while we were watching uh, Jurassic Park, not Jurassic Park, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> I'm trying not to stitch too tight because it's very intense and at one point I need to hide behind my shawl. <laughs> um, the second color that's going in this one, um, I have two balls of this Jojo Land Ballad which is 100% wool superwash in this lovely red. So yeah, this, oh yeah. That'll be cool. It'll be so pretty. So yeah, I'm close to finishing this one. Get started on that red. Anyway. So, that's everything. Make some progress. Um, I do have one purchase that I made. Um, <laughs> which bag did I put it in? Hold on, let me find it. Okay. Sorry. 
<laughs> and bending over, I got hair everywhere. Anyway, so I did have do have one purchase. It is part of my to be section. Um, because I really, really, really want to make the Waru shawl um, by Deanne from the Addie Day Designs podcast or Addie Day Designs, and then she has her own podcast, which is Addie Day. I think all links down below. And you can do three colors or four colors. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just want to make it. Um, so this yarn has been at Mama Mama for a long time. And every time I go in, I look at it and I'm like, oh, I need this yarn. I need this one so bad. Um, but now I'm like, well, I want to put in the Waru shawl, but now I'm like, what colors would I put with it? I don't know. Anyway, so the yarn is from the ND Yarn Company. Um, it is her, uh, it's fingering weight. Um, it's 100% superwash merino, 438 yards. Um, and the colorway, extrovert. Which, if you know me, I'm not an extrovert. <laughs> I am very much an introvert. But, look at these colors. Oh my goodness. Here, let me take the band off. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. And look, there's some purple there. And some yellow, and the blues, and the black. But that pink. Okay, so I'm thinking, because I really like, if you haven't seen it, if you go on Instagram and do the hashtag Waru Shaw, I'll, you know, I'll put it here so you can see. Um, Allie from Little Drops of Wonderful did one, and it's all shades of like salmon and then teals, and it's gorgeous. And it kind of like starts light colored at the top and then fades to, you know, or actually gets darker as it goes. Let me get my words right. Um, so I was thinking, make this the dark part at the bottom and then but have lighter shades of pink go through. And then just, but it's like, again, I gotta find these colors. So if you know of any, let me know if you think if there's anything you think would go with this because I have four or five blue shawls I don't need any more blue I have a purple I could always use more purple but I don't have any pink so yeah I want to do a pink one. <laughs> oh, I do have a pink shawl I have my petite curie Yes. Anyway, this one is just amazing. So yeah, but I have the yarn crawl coming up at the end of July. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go, or if I may just go hang out at Llama Llama. I don't know. Um, and then there's Stitches Midwest, which is at the beginning of August. Um, if you want to go, I think there's we're gonna. There's a group that's going to meet for lunch. Um, Rose from the Rose Likes Crochet podcast. Like? Yeah. Rose Likes Crochet. Um, she's getting to get, she's getting the list together, which I need to make sure she knows I want to do the, <laughs> do the lunch. Um, and then just hang out and chat too. Um, if you watch her video, her, what, she just posted a new video, so it's not her last video. The one before. She has more details about it, and I'm sure as the months go on, we'll, I will have more details too. Anyway, so Stitches Midwest, I will probably be looking for more. See if something will go with this. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I did want to do a shout out. Um, I found a new podcast yesterday. Her name is Sandra, and it's Sandra's Crochet Corner. She just did her first episode this week. 
and so I think we should all go show her some love. Um, super cute, super sweet. Um, I really like your haircut, <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> Although I'm not quite ready to go that short yet. I do need a haircut. It's getting kind of long for this hot summer weather we've got going on. But anyway, um, she's dipping her toes into um, podcasting. Uh, actually, she has a design out. Um, I think it's on, she says she's selling it on her Etsy. Um, so yeah, go check her out. Um, we need to support all our friends, right? Yeah. So, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate you all. Um, your comments and stuff, you know. And those of you who podcast, you just brighten my day every day. And I thank you for that. So, have a great two weeks. Happy crafting. God bless. Thank you.